Hey guys, thanks for choosing Mousetrap Genius. Today we're going to be testing KT's hay and food bin feeder for small animals. When I sm say small animals, what do I mean? I mean rabbits, chinchillas, guinea pigs, you name it. I will be testing this using a guinea pig today because we all know guinea pigs are great at testing things and because I have Opal and she is very cute and we all love to watch her. So let's see how this bin feeder stacks up against your typical food dish. Step one, jam it full of Timothy hay and your small animal's favorite nutritious food. Step two, attach it to your cage by snapping it in place with the carabiner type locks. There's no step three, you're good to go. The locks stabilize the feeder so your animal can safely balance on it to reach the food, and it keeps your cage clean since there is no dish to get tipped over. If my guinea pig were much smaller, I don't think I would use this feeder since she would get a little lost in it, but for more mature animals, the size makes sense. It holds enough hay to last my munching guinea pig at least 24 hours. Long term, an issue I had is the Timothy hay and the pellet food didn't stay separate. They did get mixed up. Also, I noticed that when the Timothy hay got low enough, my guinea pig couldn't actually reach it anymore, and that was a little frustrating for her to be able to tell that there was hay in there, but she couldn't reach it. So word of advice, just always make sure you keep your Timothy hay full so you have a happy small animal. All right, thanks for watching this review. Leave a comment, we always appreciate feedback. Wait, did someone say feed? I love feed. I realize I'm supposed to participate in product testing and eat this pro-vitamin A carrot in the feeder, but I'm being rebellious and having the time of my life eating it over here. Anyway, the bin feeder does have some flaws, but overall it works pretty well. I'll let your host wrap this review up. Also, you can like our Facebook page. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube. And of course, check out those links if you're interested at the bottom of this video. Thanks again. See you next time.